do is show you how to factor, I'm sorry, not factor. What I like to do is show you how to simplify um, this when we have two radicals. So one thing I'm gonna do is, first thing I see um, the square root of 18. And I know the square root of 18 is not a square number. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to see if I can simplify this, all right? Um, simplify the square root of 18. So there's a couple ways you could simplify the square root of 18. Now, since square root of 18 is not a square number, I look at what square numbers do I have. Well, I know I can take the square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4. And what I want to do is, one way I could do this is see if I can manipulate this 18 into equaling one of these square numbers. Well, not equaling, but represented in the same way. So if I wrote 18 as 9 times 2, that's the same thing as 18, right? Well, now the helpful thing is I can now take the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is going to leave me 3, but the 2, since I still can't take the square root of 2, that's going to remain under the radical. So that would be 3 times square root of 2. So therefore, my real answer is 3 times 3 square root of 2 plus the square root of 2. Well, now I can multiply these two numbers, so I get 9 square root of 2 plus square root of 2. Now, here's a point where a lot of students get messed up because they think, well, how can I add these? Treat them just like variables. If I was going to say x equals square root of 2, you would say 9x plus x equals 10x. And it's the same thing if with the square root of 2. 9 times square root of 2 plus square root of 2 is going to equal 10 square root of 2. And that's how you simplify a... Uh, um, Simplify to radicals.